The movie opens with a group of miners doing their job, but one of them gets so scared that he runs away from the mine after seeing Tai Lung. One of the most powerful villains, Tai Lung, is back and he has returned to take what belongs to him. He spares no life by burning the entire place to ashes. Meanwhile, Po adoptive father Ms. Ping is as usual worried about his son's safety, but Lai San, Po's real father, tells him to relax that their son will be fine. Meanwhile, we see Po is fighting a flying stingray by the lake, taking to the skies to defeat his new foe. Po manages to beat the stingray and save three piglets that it ate. Po returns to the valley where Shifu tries to talk to him about something important. Po instead goes to the opening of a new restaurant based off his heroic exploits, but Shifu insists on speaking to Po. They walk to the Jade Palace, where Shifu informs Po that he must train a new dragon warrior so they can become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Po is made to watch several candidates show off their skills, but he doesn't want to pick anybody other than himself. Shifu then has Po meditate so that he can get ready to find his successor. While he does so, he keeps getting distracted. All of a sudden, Po sees a fox sneaking inside the Jade Palace. Obviously, she's a thief when she tries stealing all the precious items in the palace, so he does what he is supposed to do, stopping her. He is so astonished because her skills is nothing he has ever seen in his entire life. Of course, she gives him a hard time, but Poe being the dragon warrior isn't all for nothing. He still defeats the fox and sends her to prison immediately. But the next news Poe is about to hear will scare him a lot. Group of buffaloes runs to meet him and informs Poe that Tai Lung is back and he is destroying the whole town and won't stop until he sees the dragon warrior bowing before him. Sensing the fox might know something about all these, Poe travels to the Valley of Peace prison to meet her. She wants to know what's in it for her if she tell him what he wants to know, but Poe wants her to spill the beans really fast because Tai Lung is out on the loose. The fox repeats that maybe she wants everyone to think it was Tai Lung. Who is she? She is referred to as the Empress of Disguise, capable of taking any form, mimicking any shape, and the Master of Deception. She is no other person but the Chameleon. The Chameleon is the only powerful shape-shifting sorceress, and the fox believes she actually shape-shifted into Tai Lung. Where can he find this Chameleon? Fox lets him know that the Chameleon is not someone that can be found without her help. Paul has no choice but to free the fox from prison, and makes a deal with her to reduce her sentences after she leads him to the Chameleon. While they begin their journey to find this sorceress, the fox introduces herself to Poe as Jen. News spreads really fast and everyone is seen talking about this chameleon and what she's capable of. Meanwhile, all the Kung Fu masters are being summoned and guess who summoned them? The chameleon. The bear complains on how they used to run the city but now they are paying her from all the money they swingle. He suggests to the other masters that they should unite their skills to take down the chameleon. But Master Croc reminds them that the chameleon is a shapeshifter. She is so dangerous to the extent that she can be sitting with them at this very table and they will have no idea. To their surprise, Croc shapes shifts to her real form and is no other person but the chameleon. She has nothing against them for badmouthing and backstabbing against her because she really is so close in achieving something very big and due to that, she increases the master's monthly tributes to 70%. Although she forgave the masters for their backstabbing, but doesn't mean she wouldn't punish them. She shapes shifts into an elephant and pushes them out of the chambers expecting their tributes at dawn or she will kill them. Later that night, Poe's two fathers catches themselves sneaking out. They are both worried about Poe after hearing about the dominant enemy their son Poe is about to face. Maybe Poe has finally met his match, so they both set out on a journey to assist their son in the fight. Meanwhile, Poe and Jen reach a river that leads to the Universe City, where the chameleon stays. But first they branch in a bar to find a boat captain to ride them to the place. The bar is very scary indeed because that's where all the criminals come to gamble and drink. The boat captain accepts to ride them to the Universe City after Poe gives him a bag of gold. After all negotiations, Poe sees Zen eating a huge pile of meals. She gained the money she used to buy all those stuffs from winning a gamble, but the criminal surrounds her after realizing she cheated. To avoid any troubles, Poe is willing to give them all their money they lost, but the criminals are more interested in kicking their butts. The criminals attacks them and Poe's defense mechanism kicks in. He activates the power of Staff of Wisdom Uwe gave him and he defeats them all in one strike. The building collapses but luckily Poe and Jen lands on the very boat that is to take them to the Universe City. Poe finds out that Jen is an orphan. It wasn't easy for her so she had to survive any way she could, which is by stealing stuffs. Until one day a local took her in, placed a roof on her head, gave her food to eat and trained her how to fight. On the other hand, the Kung Fu Masters meets Chameleon to pay the tributes she requested, but she sends them to get her more. Her soldiers produces weapons which she plans to use to take over the world, but it's actually just Poe having a dream which he claims to be a vision. Poe becomes more desperate in taking down the chameleon as soon as possible, but Jen tells him they have already arrived at the Universe City. 
As soon as Poe enters at the city, he falls in love with it because of the wonderful smells of food everywhere, but the city isn't as amazing as it used to be because Chameleon is now in charge of it. She has been forcefully taking golds from the citizens. Why? We will find out. Poe notices that Jen is quite famous in the city, but she lets him know it's not for a good reason. She is the most wanted criminal and just as they head to the Chameleon Chambers, the law enforcers chases after Jen as a wanted criminal, and they also chase Poe as a suspect for being an accomplice for the criminal. It's a really long chase, but the enforcers loses trace of them, when Jen leads Poe to a secret place underground. The people in this place are not just her friends, but Jen says that they are like a family to her, but they don't see welcoming. They bring out their blades to punish Jen for leaving them. She introduced them to Poe as the Dragon Warrior, but they have no idea on what that means. Just as Poe is about to kick to defend himself, he remembers what Master Shifu told him, that there are other ways to peace other than kicking butts. He then quotes a word of wisdom to try and make peace between them, but it turns out to be a word of foolishness when it worsens the matter. Meanwhile, Miss Ping and Lai San are on a journey looking for Poe. Ping enters that same bar Poe once attacked, and when the criminals finds out he is related to the Dragon Warrior, they decided to finish him off. Lai San thinks of a way to save him and finally gets an idea. He enters the bar acting all-powerful and claiming he was the one who trained the Dragon Warrior, but the only difference between him is that he shows no mercy to his opponent. His plan worked as they were all afraid of him and they told him the path Poe took. Jen and Poe are busy practicing on a way to take down the chameleon in a single strike. He plans to use the Staff of Wisdom to trap her and then use the finger hole to send her to the spirit world. As soon as training was over, Jen and Poe sneak inside Chameleon Castle from the back door. All of her soldiers are asleep which means they can easily enter the chamber as long as they don't make a single sound. But quietness isn't a thing for Poe. A single smelling fat from him wakes up the soldiers. They manage to get in after a long chase, but Poe gets caught in a trap. He gives Jen his staff to help him break the cage. But that is when he sees Jen true colors. He realizes that Jen is no other person but an apprentice of the chameleon, and she hands over his staff of wisdom to her. First rule of the street, never trust anyone. Ten years ago, when chameleon is passing with her guards, little Jen tries to steal from her, but she gets caught. Chameleon immediately liked her because she has no fear and took her in. Chameleon tells Poe that she too came from humble beginnings. She wanted something more, she wanted to be special by becoming a kung fu master. But she was turned away from every training hall she went to, saying she was took small and kung fu is not her destiny. So because of that, she chose a different path, sorcery. Since she now has access to the spirit realm, she plans to steal the kung fu of Tai Lung and other powerful masters, so she will become unstoppable. Po tries to break out of the cage, but she tells him it's a waste of time because she already sealed it with sorcery which will take about 10 dragon warriors to open. Since he can't go through the cage, he decides to go under it. But he gets into a more bigger trouble after he gets surrounded by thousands of her soldiers. He manages to escape, but Chameleon disguised as Jen deceives him and throws him off the building. Jen isn't happy because Chameleon never told her that someone was going to get hurt. But Jen gets reminded of the second rule of the street, someone must always get hurt. Poe isn't dead yet, but holding onto a tree for his very dear life. A soldier tries to devour him, but his both dads comes to his recuse. Poe is so disappointed because he thinks they are here because they don't believe in him, but his disappointment lies mostly on trusting the wrong person. Only if he should have just listened to Master Shifu and stay in the Valley of Peace, the Chameleon wouldn't have gotten his staff and none of all this would have happened. But he gads tells him never to feel guilty because all he ever did was for the best for the city. They have no time left because when the full moon arrives, Chameleon is going to open the gate to the spirit world and all its secrets will be hers. Just as the moon arrives, Chameleon wastes no time but to open the spirit world and summons Tai Lung back. She lets him know on the reason she summoned him so he can teach her his legendary kung fu skills, but Tai Lung isn't someone you can tell what to do not to talk or sharing his skills. He tries to leave but she closes the gate to the spirit world. Angrily, Tai Lung fights all her guards and defeats them in seconds. He tries to do the same for the Chameleon who uses the opportunity to take his kung fu boos away from him. After shape shifting into Tai Lung, Chameleon defeats him with just a punch. Not just Tai Lung, Chameleon takes the Kung moves of every master in the spirit world. Jen realizes her wrongdoings by serving an evil master, but decides to redeem herself. She meets Poe on his way to the Chameleon Palace and asks for his forgiveness. But Poe is not ready to trust her for the second time. Jen blocks his road as she doesn't want him to fight Chameleon he obviously no match for and will get him killed. Jen even had fight him just to try and stop him from walking to his death, but at the end hugs and begs him not to go. Even though he can beat her, he has to try. He tells Jen to get as far away from this place as possible. 
Poe dads are worried because Poe is going to face both Chameleon and her army, but Chen suggests that they just have to get an army of their own to help him. They all on all their friends to fight the Chameleon army. On the other hand, Poe finally confronts Chameleon. He demands for his staff back and to his surprise, she handed it over to him because she already has everything she needs from it. Anyways, Poe tries to use the words of wisdom to advise Chameleon that she's still got a chance to change from her evil ways, but after he gets a kick in the belly, he decides to follow his own instincts, which is by kicking butts. Chameleon uses the moves of every master's as she shapes shift into them to fight Poe. Jen shows up to assist Poe making it two against one. Chameleon decides to do something new. She combines each special parts of the master into one body and this time, Poe seems outmatched. Chameleon shapes shifts into Poe which didn't just get him defeated, but also get trapped in a cage for the second time. This isn't something he could do by himself anymore and hands over the staff to Jen to fight Chameleon. Jen defeats Chameleon with the Staff of Wisdom, but that wasn't the end. When they all get distracted celebrating, Chameleon tries to attack again, but Poe finishes her off with the staff and returns the kung fu moves of every master. Bo Wei wasn't wrong about Poe after all, and all the masters, including Tai Lung, bows down to Poe in respect. He sends them back to the spirit world. As they all return to the Jade Palace, Poe chooses Zhen to be his successor as the Dragon Warrior, and the Furious Five arrives to train her. Thank you for watching, guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching.